guys we're jumping right into this haircut with the number three all the way closed you guys see we were very careful to brush the length down while holding the long hair out of the way on top very important on a cut like this guys you want to make sure you do not cut any of that long hair so we brushed all that down before we got started and now we're clearing out the whole side with the number three now we're going to come in and make our first guideline with our slimline pros we're gonna do a nice curved high taper right here, kind of a burst taper. We wanna kind of match the shape of the haircut. You see the line on top where the length meets the sides. We kind of match that shape with a little bit of an arch with our slimline pros. Then we came in and balled it out with the shaver underneath that. Now we're gonna come in and make our next guideline with the lever all the way open, about a half inch to three quarters of an inch up. You guys can see we're gonna make a nice consistent guideline before we come in and start to work that line out. Now to take the line out because we punched it in with our slim lines, we're gonna go ahead and scoop that line out with our slim lines. And the next section we will take out with the clipper closed. Anything that's left behind after that, we'll take out with the clipper halfway open and we can move on from this section. Now we're gonna come in with the one guard all the way open and make our next guideline We'll go up another three quarters of an inch and then start to work that line out with the clipper closed. Now sometimes guys, while I'm already up there, I'll go ahead and connect this fade to the sides. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna come in with my two guard all the way closed and we're gonna start to go through that line and then we'll come up behind that with the one and a half guard and I will start with it halfway open and that should erase that last little hint of a line between the two and the one. Now you guys can see the one and a half is taking that line out. Now we'll continue to work our way down. We're to the one open right here. Then we'll close it up and take this line out as best as we can. If there's anything that's left, the last thing we haven't used is the zero guard. And again, guys, I use it halfway open and that should be the sweet spot to take this last little line out. All right guys, we're gonna move on to the other side. We will do the same exact steps as we did on the first side. And I got a special guest for you guys today. We've been discussing lately some of my guys that do YouTube. We all do haircut tutorials. And we wanna make sure that we kinda connect you guys to each of our channels so you don't just learn from one of us but you can get the point of view of all of us together. So I am gonna be bringing Dre Cut It Out into this video. That's my man getting the haircut. Dre Cut It Out is his YouTube channel. We're gonna bring him on here and get his two cents, give you guys a different point of view on some things about this haircut. So anyway, let's bring Dre on and see what he's got to say. What's going on, Dre? Yo, 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 what's up, fools? Man, so I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was I was a little nervous for you cutting my hair, bro. Um, I mean, you guys see me on a couple different people's channels and every, sing every single time I go to somebody who's not my barber, um, yeah, it makes me nervous. Especially letting some dude from Kentucky cut my hair. Like, never in my life. Never in my life did I think I was gonna let somebody from Kentucky cut my hair. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, but you're doing, a good, you're doing a pretty damn good job, though, from what I can see. Yeah, man, let me... So, the topic of the video, right, is barbers are, are the pickiest clients, right? So, uh -huh. I'll tell you, me cutting your hair the same weekend I cut Basio, I was more worried about cutting your hair. Because... You got Basio cutting it. You got Shannon cutting it. Like Basio get well, Basio get Shannon to cut it, but he looked rough most of the time. So I wasn't right. really sweating this haircut. But cutting yours for sure was definitely a little more uh, worrisome. But so tell me, would you rather have a barber tell you 
detail. I want this number here, this number here, all the steps. You know, they know what they want. Do you like that or does that make it worse? Uh, when I'm cutting a barber, I would want them to give me as much information as possible because since they are already educated on said subject, it makes it easier to obtain what they want if they're just telling you. You know what I mean? Because they know, they know what they're trying to achieve. Like a lot of times with the clients, they're gonna tell you, oh, I, I want it like this and then like this. But they like 99 times out of 100, they really don't know what they're talking about. And you have to use your professional opinion to get to that, to that explanation of what they want, right? So yeah. with, with barbers, it's like, they should already know what they want. You know what I mean? So I feel like if I'm kind of barber, just tell me what you want because you know how, at least you're supposed to know, like how each thing is going to look on your head, you know? Like for me, I know I want to like two and a half, three around the ridge. I want it to be dark and I want my and I want my vertical bars as dark as possible and my hairline sharp. Like I know, like I even told you in the video on the hairline, like bro, I need a one and a half on my hairline, you know what I'm saying? Even with my mustache, I want this on my, like a barber should know. And I think it makes it easier, bro, because literally you told me what to do. Yeah, and, you, and you're gonna eliminate that room for error, right? Like I could have come in with the wrong guard on your on your fringe, on your bangs, and cut mm -hmm. it too short. And you're gonna be like, ah. So you telling me, hey, this is exactly what we like to, like this is what I like to use. I've done it multiple times. Like that's gonna mm -hmm. save me the headache. Exactly. So what do you think was the so hardest dude, part? Look at your neck, bro. Yeah. Hardest part of this haircut. For sure. I was actually Do you have many people, do you see that bottom line on the right side? Do you have many people that have that, like, it's like a hard line, man. It just, like, doesn't want to go away. Bro, so to be honest, like, one thing I learned from, like, when Basio cuts my hair and stuff, that's where he starts his initial guideline. Like, he just cuts it off. Yep. Um, and then I had another barber who was like, bro, you should just do a part right there. Like you would like a little straight line right there. Yeah, a little just slash. Get, yeah, just to get rid of it so they don't have to worry about it. Um, to be honest, bro, it's the back of my head. I can't really. Sometimes I even just get the back rounded, but for the obviously, like for the sake of your video, you yeah. do the taper. But just like most people, bro, I don't see back there. Not too many people go back there, so I don't really care <laughs> personally. Hey, but that came together though. And them yeah, hitters. Yeah, tell, sure. Hey, tell them about these hitters right here, real quick. Yeah, they about to see. Yeah, those are those are some hitters for sure. <laughs> they hit. <laughs> you gonna feel them hit. So guys, I, I set these man. I was bragging on how sharp they were, oh, and they like were you sharp. can see the line right now. I'm like Dre, dog. Oh man, these trimmers are smacking, bro. Hitting this line is so sharp. And then you'll see when we get to the mustache. I don't think I left the part in when you was fussing, but. Uh -huh. We did his mustache, you know. We turned him upside down, hit the mustache, and whoo! Yeah, set hot. my set my set my mustache on fire for like two. Well, for three those hours. of you who don't know, two forty five shave gel with the aloe vera can double and kind of help with that irritation. We was Dre was putting some shave gel on his lip to help with that. So if you guys didn't know that, there's a little tip. Yeah, that's true. But I use that shave gel for a lot. Like if I forget to put lotion on my hands in the morning, I put the shave gel on there, moisturize my hands. <laughs> All right, so like you said earlier, we're cutting the hairline down with a one open with the grain. Uh, honestly, it didn't take a lot off. It was just kind of cleaning up any of those heavy spots. Right. We'll go ahead and hit it with some spritz and then we're gonna move on and fade the beard out real quick. Uh, just a simple little beard fade, come back so and do, get that line up. So do you do that so like it gives the, the hairspray some time to dry? Yeah, I noticed, I actually, like I was just telling you, I just edited another video and uh -huh. I sprayed him with five, I sprayed him with hairspray and then fibers and then came back, dude, and, and it would not come off of his forehead. It was mm. still kind of sticky in a sense. So yeah, I like to do that. I knew I was gonna do your beard for five minutes let that hairspray dry, and then when I come back, it's it's all the way dry. It's gonna give you that ash line and get, lets you hit that line real sharp. Mm -hmm. And like one of the things I'm super picky about, like obviously my hairline and then my beard as well, because a lot of the times my beard gets brought down too low, like the line. So like yeah. for like the past four or five haircuts, I don't even have them touch past the middle of my cheek. Like anything that is involved with the connection, I just tell them to leave it alone. So like. Just to give you guys a fair, like you're not gonna get the sharpest line, but that's that's completely because of my preference. Yeah, and you can definitely tell at the end of this that like 
you know, we only edged up halfway up your beard. So it honestly right. don't even look like we razor lined it. I don't even think I left it in here because of that. But um, yeah, here you go on the mustache. <laughs> so for me, like whenever I'm getting my haircut by somebody I know, I don't know why, but it just makes me laugh. Oh, here we go. I'm about to die. Uh, You're like, oh, well, I can I can feel it like just by watching it. Cause them joints are hit. <laughs> they sharp. Yeah, they are. See? Oh, there see, it was. You see that squint? I I'm said, okay. they, they hot? You said, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> but yeah, bro. So I don't even remember what we were just talking about. Just remembering that pain is just... <laughs> yeah, that was rough. Yeah, it was. But yeah, so uh, now that's had plenty of time to dry, so you can see I go in and just it just yeah, smacks. That, bro, yeah. That thing's just hit for real. Well, I ain't gonna lie, I had a TikTok that went like semi-viral um, and I was getting murdered, right? And about the parting, but like looking yeah, yeah. at how my hair we is parted, how lo- looking at how my hair is parted, like I can see why I, get I, was, it getting, too. I was getting killed. No, 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 I yeah, think I, you, you'll be good. Cause it makes sense. Like, I, but I have, it's obviously a totally different canvas, but. Yeah, with your, with your like little, you want that little bangs to have the lineup too. And yeah, but bro, uh, them things. Man, that's hard. Good. I mean, the. The kinkier the texture, man, the harder it is to really get that clean part. Bro, the those bro, they hit the crazy thing is the only time they bothered me was during the mustache, bro. That's it. On when the you lip. did on my Yeah, exactly. So when you did on the hairline and on the neckline, it didn't hurt at all. So that, that like, that's the weird part. But bro. And it's are, smacking. Bro, you are smoking this haircut, bro. I'm gonna tell you though, at the end, since since that is bangs. Uh-huh. It kind of it kind of twists, and you'll see it at the end. Now nobody else may see it. I'm I'm super. I'm gonna look at it through a fine tooth comb, you know, or a, a magnifying glass, and make sure that it's flawless. Uh-huh. And one of your corners, because of the length, kind of brushed to the side, and it gives it this appearance that it's like going up in the corner, which I was kind of bumming about in the final recording. But uh-huh. it happens, man. I'm sure you've thrown away some videos before because of uh, certain parts of the footage. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like obviously, like. At the end of the day, no matter how much ridicule we get online, um, because we're going to get it either way, right? I think we're still our own biggest critics. And then just that pressure alone makes us like think two, three, four times about it. Ah, I see what you're talking about. There it is. Hey, so my only thing I would say, if I could do it over again, I would cut that ridge down a little bit more. I think you wanted to be safe, but it is poking out a little bit. Or maybe take some products and hold it down. But I'm happy with the cut. I think uh, I've never nah, cut bro. your hair before. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll, I will let you cut my hair again. You did a good job for, for a dude from Kentucky. All right, guys, you heard it right there. Not bad for a dude from Kentucky. If you like this cut, smash the like button. Go subscribe to Dre on YouTube, and I'll catch you guys next time.